Hey, it's Ken and Gaddy with YouTube channel Game is continuing my Let's Play of Shovel Knight for the Nintendo Wii U. I'm off to the Clockwork Tower to defeat the Lair of the Tinker Knight. And then I'm going after the Propeller Knight. And then I will have unlocked these two gates and I can proceed past the Fog of War into the continuing ending stages. There's also a Frigid Flight bonus level that I don't yet have the rights to, I believe. I think I need a power-up for that, so I'm going to save that for later. Here we go, into the... Clockwork Tower. Dig in. So this looks like the uh, Metal Man, I think was his name, from Mega Man 2. He attacked with all the gears. Of course, this game is much more than just Mega Man. It's Mega Man, Castlevania, Clash of Demon Head, Zelda 2. Lots of inspirations for a lot of different games here. And I'm digging all of it. Oh, that's slow going. So let's jump along and make it a little bit swifter at the scent. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, not cool. Get back down there, stupid rat. Ah, perfect landing. Whoa, surprise attack. Surprise rat. Rat attack. By the rat pack. Okay, I can't destroy the gears. This is very much like Mega Man. Okay, big gem over there. I want it. I need it. And I got it. Only 200, though. Now that sparkly means I can go fishing. I got me... Oh, he fills up the... Uh, I got some i -Core. So let's take a quick look at exactly what i I have. I didn't even... I went by so quickly. Iker of Fortune is what I think he gave me. Absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds and become invincible for 10 seconds. I prefer the Icor that allows me to store all my health and magic. I used that in a boss battle earlier. And I needed it, I tell you. Oh, hidden area. Let's see what we have up here. I'm guessing I can bounce off this thing? Yep. Oh. Music? Nope. Money. I'll take it. Now I'm glowing because I bounced two times in a row off that thing. I have a power up that I purchased earlier that allows me to charge up my attack in such a fashion. Like that. I haven't used it all that much. I can also just hold down my attack and do that. That comes in handy when fighting bosses. It also goes right through a lot of defenses. So I can attack people more easily. So do I want to fall down the pit to the right, or do I want to go up there? Can I get up there? I don't think so. I think I need to go the long way. Ah, that's right. Okay, I think I can do this. It's not like there are spikes at those uh, rising pillars to protect me from. Now, I learned that you can destroy the checkpoints for money, just like in BitTrip. Whoa. How about that? But now if I die, I don't have that checkpoint. So it's all about risk management. I have to count on not dying before getting to the next checkpoint. Probably should have killed these guys then pick up that food. I don't know how to kill these guys. Let's use some uh, artifacts or relics or whatever. Whoops. That's a bad aim. Four hits. Do I, want, do I want to go right or up? Let's start with up. That looks like it actually goes somewhere. So let's see what is over here. Yep, this is the brief... Whoa! Poop! Alright, and I didn't use the, sh the checkpoint, so I'm going to speed back to where I was. So here I am back at the checkpoint room, and notice that I don't get a second shot at using the checkpoint. I made my decision, and now I must live with it and die with it. But I get more turkey. At least I have chicken. Still want whatever's over here, though. 
I also want my money. And that music sheet, of course. Got all my monies. Got the music sheet. Oh, okay. Now I want those gems up there. Got that. I was in time to jump onto this platform. Got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. Jump. Whoops. And back into the main level. Back on course. On track. And I just have to continue to not die. Can I stand on those things? Are those platforms? I think so. No, they're not. Ah. Alright, more music. I'm not as interested in having the jukebox feature available to me in town by returning all this music to the bard. But I do like to know that I have found all the hidden stuff. And... Whoa. And that I'm getting money for my efforts. Huh. Oh, I was supposed to go climb that re that ladder up and then fall down onto that platform. That's how I was supposed to do it. I went the hard way, of course. Speaking of the hard way, goodness. Now how do I... All those gems on those spikes down there, how do I get those? I'm guessing that Chester is over here. He's gonna sell me a relic that'll help me through rooms such as this. That's why there's so much money here, to help me buy whatever Chester's selling. Hey, Chester. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? Of course. I want to buy mobile gear. Ride over hazards and reach higher places. Okay. That was really just a pittance compared to how much money I have on it. Ride over hazards and reach higher places. Hop on and hold on. Okay. So this is an item. That's right there. Nope. There it is. Six magic. That's again why there's so much magic over here. Whoa. Huh, okay. So it doesn't make me fly, it just puts down a platform that I can ride. Good to know. Thanks, Chester. Hey, it jumps for me. I'm not pushing that button. Oh no! Oh, that was stupid. Well, let's get back there. Alright, let's just pick these up and be on our merry way. Let's see, how can I easily get that? I'm gonna use my money icor. There we go. And I don't really feel the need to fight that guy. They're usually more trouble than they're worth. I'm just gonna move along. Get some uh, food down there if I can. There we go. Now my i lasts for 60 seconds. Which I think is longer than I need. I really just wanted that one bag of money. These guys are not gonna stop taunting me. Ah! Dang! There we go. Uh oh. Alright, I'm going fishing. That was stupid. But there's more fishing to be done. There we go. And if I find another Truple, he'll give me more i -Course. It's not a bad thing to have an empty slot. Oh, I can jump through that. I thought that was a ceiling. There! An actual checkpoint have that problem again. Well, that's weird. So I can go up or right? I want to go up. So this is an introduction to a new mechanic. Music. Dirt. So I definitely need the item I just bought. No, I don't! 
How do I do that? Okay. Good thing there's a checkpoint right here. No more rewinding or fast forwarding. Alright. Let's, uh... Yeah, I need to... Like that. Am I gonna be able to get that money back, though? Dope. Poop. I just lost a bunch of money. I don't even know if I picked up what I previously lost. Because if you die before you pick up your missing money, then you don't, the missing money is gone and you lose more money. Oh, didn't get that one. Got those. I can get that last one easily enough. Oh, I probably just could have reused that same gear. Oh well. Alright, got that, got the music. Moving on. To the east side. Huh, it's a big jump. Good thing that candy cane thing is there. Whoa! Wait, I missed. You departed without me. Okay, let me reset that room and try this again. There we go. Try to kill me, will you? Well, you might actually succeed. But not. Ah! Oh, I wanted those gems. Whoa! I also wanted to be able to make that jump and survive. Guess I can't always get what I want, right? Okay, fewer gems to get this time, because I already got them before. And they're waiting for me to recollect in that those floating bags of money. Let's try this again. There we go. Not so hard. Uh oh, that guy. Oh, do I want to fight him? Is there stuff to like be found up there? No, they're just going to be pushed down. But I can push you right off, right? There. That had better to kill them than you get the reward for it. Charging your shot helps a lot. See, the three charge shots gets 200 GP gold pieces. Hmm, I want to go into that little room down there. How do I do that? I suppose, whoops, not what I want to do. I suppose this little thing can go for a ride for me, right? Nope. Too big. Whoa. Don't know how I did that. There we go. Seems like there should have been something hidden in that room somewhere. Turkey! In the wall! I'm a vegetarian, but this time I'll take it. Alright, I want to take the lower path, but I want to get this guy out of my way. Even though he'll be back as soon as the room resets. Oh! I think the time is slightly off on that one. There we go. Oh. I wonder if this is the right or wrong way. Should I have gone the other way? I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, let me, I'm going to put my head up that door up there just to see what's there. Maybe that's the way I'm supposed to go? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Wow, I've lost a lot of health since that turkey leg. Like. Nope. So the other way is the longer way, but there must be some just reward along the way. Oof. That guy sucked a lot of my health. It sucks. All just to be sure that I'm going the right way. But hey, in the meantime, we can go fishing. I'm guessing it's gotta be one of those fish that's worth 350 gold. How it didn't get chewed up in the gears, I don't know. Uh, these jumps might be a little bit more difficult, but not really. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Music! Got it. Huh. Yeah, there's nothing to suggest that wall would explode, but... It seemed like too much wall for it to be just a wall, if that makes sense. One more hit should get rid of this guy. 
Whoop. And I screwed that up. Oh, now can I get that money before it disappears? Probably not. Well, there was the one that was static and not dependent on the enemy being defeated. Let's take a look at that at least. He's half dead. Oh, he's all dead. Uh, I love being able to switch my items just from using the gamepad, which you can also do on the 3DS. It's a very handy shortcut. Dang. That'll teach you. Again, I don't know why I did that, because I previously said that these battles are rarely worth it. Checkpoint. Oh! Auto scroll. They give me some magic, but that's not really what I need right now. Thank you, though. Even though this is auto scrolling, it reminds me of the waterfall from the original Contra on 8 bit Nintendo. So, yeah, this game really is inspired by 8 bit Nintendo games. For better or for worse. Magic. No! Come on! But the last checkpoint was so far back. Well, not as far back as I thought. Okay, this shouldn't take too long. I've already gone the long way out of this room. This time I can go the short way. And let's just ignore this guy. Pardon me. Again, switching items to my gamepad. And we're back here. Whoa! That guy's on my tail. Does Shovel Knight have a tail? Oh, come on! Come on! Now I never get those monies back. Let's speed back to that room. amulet a bit more that time, just to speed through there. Got all those monies back, but the monies from my previous death, gone forever. It's like at least three, four, five thousand, which is quite a range. Oof, slight rest while the other platforms show up. Slight rest. Lots of, ooh. Lots of, uh, goodies over here. Got them all. Gotta catch them. Wait a minute, can I destroy some of those walls down there? Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. We're done with the scroll. Oh, no, 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 whoa. Wow, that was close. Okay, nothing to destroy there. Ugh, made the jump. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. What is this? Before I hit the lever, let's destroy that. Oh, I already have some health, but thanks. Do they come back up after a while? Seemingly not. Let's use that checkpoint, even though I'm losing a lot of money. Tinker Knight. Oh, we're right here. Ah! Did you make all that noise? I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. Just work on letting me pass, little friend. Oh, big words, Tin Man. I'll show you a thing or two. Okay. Show me. Whoa. What just happened? There's gotta be more to this guy than this. Engineers can be quite fierce. This is like... a bad Mega Man boss. Like one that just has a pattern that he follows regardless of whether the condition calls for it. Come on, show me your true form. This can't be it. Really? Thank you. I knew there had to be more. Now you gotta get into the giant mech you built, right? That's what I'm talking about. 
Oh, I should have taken it easy on you that first time because I'd have to build with more health here. Huh. Is that all I gotta do? Just keep bouncing? Nope. There's more to you than that. You made me lose my footing. Darn you. Whoa. Ah! I really do wish I could punish my health now. Hitting these things doesn't seem to do me any good, so I'm just gonna avoid them. And get my way back up here. Oh, there were missiles that I didn't want to jump into. I should still have taken action, though. Ah! Yeah, this guy's probably gonna kill me. No, I want to stay up there. Ah, I can never get far enough to the left in time to avoid him. However, I do seem to be doing proportionally more damage than he's doing to me. So this might bode well. Come on, throw some fists at me. Triple fist it. Ah, come on, more of these? All right, geometry. Ah! One more hit and I'm gone. Six more for him. I don't like those odds. Where are the fists? How do I get up there again? Ah! Come on! You gotta give me a chance to defeat you. I mean, technically you don't. That would be stupid of you, but game-wise you should. Is there something I need to do to make the uh, fists come out? Oh, come on! Oh! Okay. That was interesting. I need to defeat probably both versions of him and get my money back. Alright, let's do this as quickly as possible. Oh. Ah! They're actually doing more damage to me this time than they did last time. That, I'll take that, and I will take this. Thank you. Okay. Maybe I should just use my, uh... I have various artifacts that might have been able to reach him up there. Relics, if you will. Nope, staying up here this time. Oh! Almost stayed up there that time. Oh, I can touch his treadmills, those don't hurt me? But didn't he run me- doesn't he usually run me over and that hurts? Dang, again, bad timing, there was no spot for him up to. One, unless I was a prince. Oh, that interrupted my jump. I lost my momentum. Dang! How do I get up there with those missiles in my way? They seem to be invincible before the, uh... That one comes, though. Just need to jump over them. Stay up there! Ah! Couldn't stay up there. I guess this is what I have to do. One more hit and I'm dead. Can you get over there. Ah! Oh! I had to hit him three more times. And I was out of magic? Wow, I didn't realize that. I need to be more careful with that amulet of invincibility. And my chaos orbs up here. Overall, just I was using too much magic, I think. Is 
you only have the one wrench? It's like a boomerang. Ah, nope, he has lots of wrenches there. Why is he a wuss? Maybe of engineer is a bad name. I went to school with mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, electrical engineers. They were all tougher than you. Grr. I'll take that and that and that. Oh, hey, there we go. Thank you. All right, throw some fists. Fist of fury. Oh. For some reason, I thought I couldn't jump up through that protein spike, but I can. Okay, can I stay up here? Yes. No! Dang. Can I use my little, uh, art of my relic that I bought in this level to try to get me back up there? Is that enough altitude for me? There we go. Oh. Sneak right under that missile. Dark. All right. Oh. I don't care if you hit me. You will go down. There. Good fight. There are some good patterns to learn there. Again with the campfire interlude. Probably not gonna have a dream sequence. I will figure out what this is all about someday. Wake up, put up my fire, get some gold, and on my way. So that was the Tinker Knight level. Thank you for watching as I played that. I unlocked that block, that lock. And now I'm off to the Propeller Knight in the Flying Machine. That's my next video, so stay tuned to keep on shoveling.